to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys all of the bracelets and crafts I have made in the month of February. Now this was a pretty productive month I'd say. I made an, a medium amount of bracelets but I could have made more than this. But hopefully next month I will make more than this and it'll be my month for making bracelets. But before I show you guys all of the bracelets I have made this month, I will ask you guys to please subscribe. And after you have subscribed, then please do comment down below and say that I subscribed. That way I will know you did and I will comment back and respond. Now let's get into the amount of bracelets I made this month. So these are all the bracelets I made in the month of February. I won't be doing it in chronological order, I'll just be showing you guys one by one. And yeah, let's get started. So the first bracelet here is this one. This is the striped dovetail friendship bracelet I have showed you guys how to make. It is one of my last videos, so I'll link it in the card and down in the description. I like how this turned out a lot. I used the yarn called Summer Nights. It is, I think it's very accessible in the US, so you can definitely get it on Amazon. And the type of thread I used um, in the summer brand is basically carnival, that's what it's called. So it does look like a carnival actually <laughs> because of the very vibrant colors like the pink and the orange and the very vibrant dark blue with all the sparkles. So I think it looks really nice. The next one I'd like to show you is this alpha pattern right here. It's a bracelet. And this is a lightning bolt one as you guys can see right here. I used a cyan background or a teal background and I used a dark blue for the um, outline or shadow of the lightning bolt and I used yellow for the actual lightning bolt color. And this bracelet was inspired by the YouTuber Megan Morris who is also Margaret on Bracelet Book. I saw her latest video or one of her latest videos on this and she was um, trying to make this as fast as possible and seeing how long it would take to make. And I thought that was a pretty cool bracelet so I decided to try it myself and here's the result. The next one I'd like to show you is this Twisted Celtic Knot bracelet. It's really pretty and this one was inspired by Masha Knots because I know she did a video on this I think maybe almost a year ago now. She did this for a monthly wrap up and I looked back on it and, and I just decided that it's a really cute pattern and I wanted to make it. So here it is. I did four of these Celtic braids here and I did circle round braids for the ties. And then for the first alpha I have made this month, it was this one. So you guys might have recognized this one. Um, I made it before, I think once, and it was very elongated and it was just, it looked terrible. And this pattern it has to be my favorite alpha pattern in the entire world. <laughs> I love it a lot. And I just had to make it and it had to hit all the standards I set for myself for when I'm making a bracelet. And this one definitely did because I realized that loosening up your knots really extremely helps significantly improve your alphas. So this is really, I mean, the best result I got out of this. Next, I'm gonna show you guys this first wall hanging I made of this month. It's a really cute one. I think it has maybe 32 strings on it. Um, it is a brontosaurus, I'm pretty sure. This is the back. And I'll also show you the back here of this cookie pattern. So I did a video where I tried to show my sister how to make bracelets and she chose a wall hanging for her first bracelet, which was a terrible idea. She wanted to make this pattern in a black background and a white outline for the dinosaur and a blue and green center or color for the dinosaur. It turned out to be an epic fail and a complete waste of string, but you know what? I'd rather waste string on learning than not use it at all and not learn anything. So anyways, this is a really nice pattern and I really enjoyed making this. And then I made this one. This is a really, really cute bee pattern. It is made by the creator on Bracelet Book, Soda Pop. She is a wonderful creator of patterns. I love all of her patterns and I just think that this is probably my favorite pattern that she's ever made. I love how this has a dotted line sort of trailing behind the bee. I just think it's a really cute, I guess, animation of the bee almost um, and I also love the background color and the bee turned out pretty nice as well. I just had a couple of issues. It has a couple of bumps on it right here on the belly area of the bee 
but still I loved how it turned out and I'm just love admiring it <laughs> Then I made this hamster wall hanging. So I finished this one maybe two days ago, I'm pretty sure. Um, I love how it turned out. It took me about two and a half days to make, but of course not two and a half days of pure knotting, just two and a half days in general with knotting on and off. And I did do a tutorial on how to do the fancy ties for your wall hangings, which I'll also link in the card and in the description down below for you guys to check out. It's a really adorable, uh, wall hanging and I just really love the ties as well and then I started this really cute keychain I think I started it last night or yesterday I'm pretty sure it was yesterday um and I love this pattern the creator crazy knots made it it was a brand new pattern yesterday it was one of the most popular patterns as of yesterday and I found it and I added it to my tutus right away because it's just a beautiful pattern and I just really love how it has this effect where it's almost like a shadow or just a glitchy like sort of shape or lighting on it. I really love that part and I just had a lot of fun making this. It only took me about half a day to do, so not too long. But yeah, I really loved how this turned out. Then last but not least, I started this Diamond Illusion bracelet this morning. Um, I had to go somewhere. I made bracelets there. I was actually going to the beach because I do live near the beach. Fun fact. And yeah, I started this one this morning and I just did basically half day of pure knotting. And I just finished it right before I started filming this video. So it was a really cool last bracelet to make. I really enjoyed making this one and I probably have done at least three or four bracelets before this one of this exact same pattern. So I'm probably going to be making a lot more of these in the future because it's my favorite normal pattern ever. So those are all the bracelets I made in the month of February. And I really hope you guys enjoyed looking at them because I really had fun making bracelets in February. And I also apologize for not doing a collection video of bracelets for Valentine's Day because I was really busy around that time and I didn't have a lot of time to make Valentine's Day bracelets. But anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed all these bracelets regardless. So, like I've said before, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and like my videos. Also share them if you enjoy watching them and you would recommend them to others. I would love it for you guys to spread word about my channel because I really hope this helps everyone and it's just good for the bracelet community. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!